Okay, guys, make sure you guys hit up Gamer the Plug on Instagram or Gamer the Plug 24 on Twitter to buy or sell a stacked NBA 2K20 account or to get your badges grinded, especially since it's hard getting badges this year. But, anyways, guys, the link will be the first link in the description. So make sure you guys go hit them up. Now, let's get straight into the video, man. Let's get it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, bro, I'm timing it right. No. Oh my god, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, bro. I'm filling the meter up. Have you been missing your shots lately? Yeah, bro. Sometimes does it feel like you'll never make another shot again? Yeah, bro. Why do you think that is? I don't know, I'm filling up the- Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you, Ermi, and everyone else, how to get unlimited green lights in NBA 2K20. How? Are you gonna fill up the meter for me? What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Henry, aka Double HD, and I'm back in the building with yet another banger. And in today's video, I got a tutorial video for you guys today. So if you guys see anything in this video that helps you guys out at all, make sure to guys make sure you guys just drop a like immediately, okay? Just ASAP. It's literally free, costs no money, and it helps me out greatly. But anyway, subscribe to the channel as well. We're almost at 20,000 subs. Actually, we're just about to hit 17k subs. But anyways, y'all, let's get into this video. So, a lot of people, now if you don't know. A lot of people, you might be seeing a lot of people not using their shot meters, and you, you might ask yourself, why aren't they using their shot meters? Like, they're basically shooting blind, right? Now, there are people that do use their shot meters, but in the comp scene, if you want to be better at this game, good at this game, or one of the best in the game, you have to take your shot meter off. And I'm going to tell you how to take your shot meter off in this video, why you should take your shot meter off in this video, and how to get good if you're not already good without the shot meter okay so number one why is the shot meter good to have off right so as you can see in these two tweets right here um mike wang tweeted this out now pay attention to the dates this is august 19th 2019 so this is just about when 2k9 or 2k20 actually dropped right he said one of the first things i recommend doing when you get hashtag nba 2k20 is go to the feature settings and turn shot feedback to all shots very helpful tool on defense to see how well each shot is contested by default you only get feedback on shots you take so obviously you should have if you don't have that setting on i don't know what the you're doing basically what that setting um does is it, it tells you what kind of contest you're getting on defense and what kind of contest the other team's getting on defense so definitely have that on if you don't if you don't have that on i you've been living on a rock i don't know what you've been doing but anyway somebody replied and said what's the second uh thing you recommend and he said turn the shot meter off okay so he doesn't give a lot of um detail about that but in a later tweet i mean shit this was a while ago august 7th but this is 12 days before he said i'm working on making the shot meter off option into a pro gamer setting high risk reward if you can hit the excellent window use shot percentage boost i mean huge shot percentage boost but if you're a couple frames off you'll lo most likely miss so basically what this is saying is you if you take off your shot meter and shoot a white you probably aren't going to make it okay most of the time but it's a high, there's more greens if you shoot in the excellent window so the excellent window is going to be larger that means there's more options for shooting greens with the meter off and obviously a green goes in 100 of the time so as long as you can time your shot you'll basically green all of your shots okay so now the question is how do you take your shot meter off so that brings us into step number two guys which is going to be how do you turn the shot meter or i mean turning the shot meter off so you're gonna go to your options controller settings and it's gonna be shot meter just turn it off you might have this on splash flash whatever it doesn't matter turn it off you can copy these other settings it doesn't matter but just make sure that shot meter is off okay so that's step number two now step number three 
Now, here's all my builds right here. I have a glass lock, a two-way slashing playmaker, an inside-out playmaker, and a sharpshooting facilitator. We are going to go into the mind court and show you guys how to time these no-shot meter shots. Now, I'm using the same jump shot on all of these players. The link will be in the description if you want this jump shot. But I'm going to be testing with all ratings. So, this is my glass lock. He is a 74 three-pointer. So this is where you're going to want. Now, by the way, this goes for any jump shot. This is just the jump shot I'm using. And I'm using on all ratings. Now, you want to have a cue for when you release the ball. Now, what a cue means is basically, oh, I'm going to release the ball at this point. See, now with a shot meter, all you do, oh, I'm just going to release the ball when the bar is full on my shot meter. But now you don't have that bar. So you have to look for something physically on your player to tell you, oh, that's when I release it. So the best thing to look at is your wrist because this will go for any of your my players, any jump shots. It'll literally work for all of them. Look at your wrist. So when you shoot the ball, you want to release X or whatever you're using square. I don't know what PS4 is. And you just want to release that button right when the wrist gets to its full extension. So as you can see, we're going to zoom in right here. I release X as soon as my player starts flicking his wrist on the ball. Now, once again, the timing might differ by milliseconds, depending if you're in stage or park. But trust me, this is this is another reason why I don't use mascots. A lot of people ask me, Double H, why don't you use mascots? Because that totally screws up my cue on when to release the ball. And now I'm shooting 50s. If you don't know what that means, then basically you are shooting like whites, a lot of whites, and you're missing a lot of shots. Um, now, this is my two-way slashing playmaker that I'm shooting around with. And he has a 64-3. So we just tested with a 74-3 and it's working. This is my two-way slashing playmaker. He is a 64 three-pointer and he is also lefty, okay? It's the same jump shot. And as you can see, I'm timing it a little bad right here. But um, basically what you wanna do is get to the full extent. See, I'm timing it early. This is another thing when you're in the, my court. As you can see, I'm timing it early. So I gotta time it later. So if you're timing it slightly early on your first shot, and you're not timing it either excellent on your second shot or late on the second shot then you're doing you're not changing anything change something change how you're timing your shot a lot of people say i can't green but you're timing it the same way so as you can see we're gonna go zoom in on this next shot here and by the way guys this is 64 three-pointer look at full extension then he releases the wrist and then i release x and it's a green okay it's really not hard to shoot with no meter and trust me if i can do it you can do it because uh i was definitely shooting a billion when i didn't when i first turned my shot meter off so now i'm shooting straight range no matter what my three-pointer is um but anyways um so this is the second player we're testing like i said he has a 64 three-pointer um and we're shooting straight grains, bro. If you guys watch my streams, and by the way, turn on notifications if you wanna watch my YouTube streams, I shoot a lot of greens with this player. And just to confirm he is a 64 three-pointer, I'll literally confirm it right now. As you can see, we shot 24 for 32. Uh, we were definitely getting a lot of early, so I had to um, you know, mess with the timing a little bit, which is what you're gonna have to do in your my court. But as you can see, 64 three-pointer, guys, 69 mid-range. I wasn't lying to you. This is my two-way slashing playmaker. Now we're going to go on to the third player. Now this player is my sharpshooting facilitator. So this player is a 98 three-pointer. I'm also going to show you guys uh, fades and stuff. So now quick draw is also a big thing. That two-way slashing playmaker had gold quick draw. My glass lock had Hall of Fame quick draw, but obviously my glass lock is very tall so his speed of the jump shot is not going to be like this player's speed because this player is only 6'5 six, 6'6 six, six, and he is hall of fame quick draw so this jump shot i'm basically tapping x and i'm shooting greens okay um and if not i'm getting a late so right there i just got a late so now i'm i gotta release it a lot quicker so that's another thing you gotta when you miss a shot especially if you're in a game parker stage look at your timing see if it was a late or a early okay and if you don't have your timing on, go to back to the beginning of the video. Mike Wang, one of Mike Wang's tweets showed you exactly how to turn those on. Okay. Shot feedback is what it's called. Turn that on. Look at, I'm shooting greens. Right when he gets to that full extent on the wrist, I release the ball. And it's the same thing for fades. You want to look at the wrist. That's the big thing. All you got to do, guys, is look at the wrist. Drop a like if I'm giving you guys good tips. Okay. Drop a like. Now, just to confirm, this is my sharpshooting facilitator. 
um he does have a 98 three-pointer and 97 mid-range uh and this is my 98 overall sharp shooting facilitator so the last player we're going to test is my inside out playmaker he has i think like an 84 and he's 63 so we've tested 74 3 64 3 84 3 and 98 3 okay that's basically any build right there unless you have like a 43 you know i'm not gonna get on my slasher in practice but um i'd be doing the same thing with him out of the shot meter off but anyways guys uh, I gave you all three tips this video. Number one, how why you should turn the shot meter off. Number two, how to turn it off. And number three, how to use it to the best of your abilities, okay? So if you get the shot meter, let me know in the comments down below right now if you guys got the shot meter off down pack, if you guys started using it, you know, where are you at in this process? Make sure to drop a like on this video if this video helped you out at all. And make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new. Like I said, guys, just look at the wrist and you'll be fine. Release the ball when you get to that full extension. Mess around with it in the my court and you'll get used to it. All you got to do is concentrate, man. This is my inside out player, 85 three pointer. But, anyways, guys, it's been your boy Henry, aka Double HDF. I hope this helped you guys out and I'm out, man. Peace. I'm feeling your energy and show me, man, she really enemy. I got lots of enemies and they want to act like they friends with me. I came up from bummy tees, now catch me just rocking Javanti.